Hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk, S-I-C-K-M-A-F-S.co.uk, where you can find lots of free math videos for GCSE A-Level and Key Stage 3. This video is for A-Level Maths, uh, the C4 module under Edexcel, and it's about integration to work out volumes of revolution. There are lots of different things you need to do for integration in C4 in the C4 module. Check it out at sigmas.co.uk where you find the other techniques. Anyway, so you've got a graph and volumes of revolution require you to revolve your graph, usually two pi radians or 360 degrees, uh, so you get a solid shape like that. Okay? So this is kind of like a, a bent cone or a curvy cone, yeah? And um, so you get this volume, which is effectively, uh, the idea behind it anyway, is lots of very thin circular discs all added up with different radiuses or radii, yeah, or radii, I should say. Um, so each radius is, well, it varies uh, depending on where you are in the graph. But effectively, it's the y value which is each of the each is each radius okay so you're you got lots of pi r squares or pi y squares going on where y is continuously changing which is why you do the integral of pi y squared because s stands for well this integration sign is an s and it's summing up all the y squares and uh, pi is just a common factor so you can stick it on one side can't you okay so that's the theory behind it let's do the practice which is very simple the equation of this graph is y equals uh, x to the power 3 over 2. Okay, so all I have to do is integrate uh, pi, well, I have to do pi integral of y squared. What is y squared? Well, uh, y is equal to x to the power 3 over 2. So I put x to the power 3 over 2 there and square it to get y squared. And what does that give me? That gives me x cubed. Integrating that gives me x to the power of uh, power 4 over 4. Uh, might as well take that divide by 4 outside. That's just like a common factor as well with the pi. So you get pi over 4. And you sub in those numbers. And what do you get? Well, you get 3 to the power of 4, which you know is 81. The 0 does nothing really. So you get 81 over 4 pi. And that is it.